football. Look at all this. All right, so we got goalposts. We got your football field. We got your giant helmets. Let's go this way because I'm going to assume this way will lead us to baseball. I wonder if it leads. Oh, Star Sports. Check it out. We are heading into All Star Sports. We're going to check out this place, see what the decorations look like, see how hospitable the pin traders are, and then we will get some bird's eye views up in the air. Some of the gigantic structures they have. Let's go in through the check-in door. Now well, this lobby's got a few more people than the other lobbies. They're still not doing anything here. Is there a pin trading board? There it is. Let's go look at the pin trading board. Can I check it to pin trading boards? Cool. Well, that's cool. Well, this is actually the first time today I've had a chance to really look at it. That's cool. Shang-Chi. I was just over at movies and I could not think of Pongo's girlfriend's name for the life of me. Yeah. Could not think of it for the life of me. Pretty to... Alright. Now i got to find two in here that I actually want to get rid of. That's the hardest part. <laughs> Well, most of these pins came from my friends in England. I would trade them, I would collect the hidden Mickey pins for them nice. as the sets came out. Yeah. And then they would bring me stuff. And then uh, they quit. And their nephew slash grandson decided that he was done with his pin training book and let's give these to me as thank you payment, not payment, but help for helping them out, yeah. All right, no pirate pins. Yeah, I had this full set. I could actually trade these. People are probably gonna be looking for these. I have a board at home with all the Chippendales. So let's get this one out. Um, I met a, some young kids, a brother and sister, when I was working at Pop Century, and they had a, each of them had like a giant book like this, and they were they would come up to us every single day oh, <laughs> to trade with their books. That's cool. So I'm gonna get. Pongo. Pongo, yeah. And Chang Chi. And somebody can be surprised that these really old pins are here. Oh, those are fun. Thank you oh, very yeah. much. Yeah, absolutely. Come back anytime. Now I'm going to go record the whole resort. There you go. <laughs> okay, we are at Sport, Goofy, Gifts, and Sundries. Basically the same shape as the other stores. I think basically the only thing they rearrange is where the checkouts are and uh, like the uh, genre of merchandise. But then you always have your standard stuff. So, pretty cool. I don't know if they have a pin board here or not. But it's okay. I'm not sure what I'm trading today anyway. Thank you. So that's the gift shop. These are the guys doing the coloring pages here. <coughs> Find myself a sink though. I dropped my straw on the ground, my illegal straw. You know, maybe we'll go into the arcade first. Can't be a good arcade. So, this is the Game Point Arcade. And again, it's pretty much the same with all the All Stars. So for this one's giant Space Invaders, oh, there's giant Pac-Man over there. Got the Disney 100 logo, that's pretty cool. Bring the girls here all the time. We do 
pin trading, then we hang out in the arcade for a while, using up other people's left behind uh, cards from this. Okay, end zone for food court. Let's get ourselves a refill. Okay, so we are at the Surfboard Bay pool. Lifeguards are starting to show up, but people are not in yet. There's a giant, what I am gonna guess is a shark's fin for the decoration with the surfboards at this resort. So, shall we go upstairs and see what the downstairs view looks like? I don't know what that was. It left me speechless, clearly. Okay, there's our giant shark's fin. Actually, it looks like it has lights on it. There's our pool. No idea what the shape of the pool is. And then our kiddie pool, right in the same area as the big pool. Alright, yo, there over there is the Grand Slam. No, Grand Stand Spirits. Another bar that's not open yet because it's still morning. <coughs> Let's take a walk down here. See what we see next. Maybe we'll see some. Uh, window decor. Oh, there's a little baby Yoda. Hello, Grogu. Again, if that's your room, don't forget to give me a shout out. Maybe a like. Maybe a subscribe. Okay, we got giant checkers over here. Don't need Andy's room for giant checkers. Okay. Alright, so back here, looks like we got our next section, and it looks like I'm going to be taking the lifeguard stand stairs <coughs> basement air down to go check out. basketball and over there tennis let's go okay basketball gets the giant cheer cone staircases and tons of pennants around their uh, resort now we got the three to four foot big basketballs and the 30 foot tall hoops in the middle of the buildings we have giant whistles I don't know if you can really make that out because a whistle I'm not sure if it would even work with the fact that the sides are open like that but how else are you going to know there's a little ball in the middle so giant whistles next to the giant basketball hoops near the giant basketballs and that would be basketball division and up there wildcats get your head in the game all right that looks like a dead end to me over there so let's head over to tennis all right so tennis has tennis ball cans as their stairwells that go twice as high as the stairwell actually goes and then we're gonna go straight up the middle. I got, like the basketballs, three foot tennis balls, but unlike the basketballs, this is even way more of an exaggeration because if the tennis ball is like a 12th of the size of a basketball and the big ones blown up are the same size. That's a big tennis ball. All right, we also have tennis rackets on the buildings. We got Huey, Dewey, and Louie playing baseball on the uh, tennis court. And then for the giant structures in the middle of the buildings, we got 
the uh, judge's seat. I'm not sure exactly what that person's called. The net judge, line judge. Anyway, 40 feet tall. So look, Huey, Dewey, Louie, playing baseball. You guys are crazy. Oh, there's Uncle Donald again. Let's go say hi to Donald, see if we can get a fist bump. We're gonna get a fist bump out of Donald. I should have gotten a hug from Goofy when he was walking around. But there was kids there and I really didn't want to interfere with uh, the children's adventure. They deserve it much more. All right, let's put this. Put our drink down. Donald. Donald. Beak bump. All right, fist bump. Fist bump, Donald. Okay. Let's see what else there is. This is for you, Kyle. All right, so I took a random path through tennis. I'm behind tennis and surf. Hoping that it leads me to football or baseball. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure they still both exist back here. So I do got another building coming up. Find out what it is in a minute. Looks like football. Uh, maybe football and baseball. I got stairwells with footballs. I got stairwells with Coke cups. Kind of like this. So let's go check out football first since we're coming up on it. See what's in the middle. We already know that they got 30 to 40 foot footballs as their stairwells. Let's see what their giant structures are. So I just had a really long chat with that guy. He's from the Allentown area. I am from the Allentown area. Okay. Football. Look at all this. All right, so we got goalposts. We got your football field. We got your giant helmets. Let's go this way, because I'm going to assume this way will lead us to baseball. I wonder if it leads us to a pool, like Mighty Ducks. It might. Look, I'm under the helmet. All right. Football. Yeah, Angel from Allentown, or any friends of his, security, um, let him know. He made the video walking away. So, okay, so we checked in or we checked out. We left our carts. Oh, we got window decorations over there. We got Valentine's on a double room. I think those are connecting suites when they're like that. Um, we got some Minnie Mouse stuff. That's about all I'm seeing right now. Here is baseball. We got giant scoreboards as our middle of the building separators. We got, like I said, Coke cups as our stairwells. We got a bleachers. I'm not sure if that's restrooms or something else. But here's the pool. And those are not pushed up anymore, so this is unlocked. There's a Goofy out in the middle of the pool. There's some lifeguards waving. All right. And that's baseball. Home run. So, hey lifeguard at the pool, watch my video. All right, so we got some Louisville Sluggers as our large jumbo decorations. And I think that wraps up this resort because I don't think so when I moved from Pennsylvania to Florida we did not have an apartment a house anything we had a truck filled with stuff and a trailer hauling our car on the back my wife and I drove down here we got here I had booked well, we just sold our house, so we had a little bit of money. I had booked a room at All Star Sports, and it was right there. This is where we stayed. 
in all-star sports when technically we were homeless looking for a place to rent um, when we got here so a little bit of toss in there hey if you're interested in subscribing to the channel click on that button right there that'll take you to my channel you can subscribe right there and while you're at it once you're done you can click on this button right here show you another one of my interesting videos